it's Jackie. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the eraser tool in GoodNotes. So when you first switch it on, in top left, you can see on the right hand side of the toolbar there, you've got three sizes, so small, medium, large, and you can just click on whichever one, depending whether you're being close up and detailed or whether you just want to wipe out a big area. If we tap and hold the eraser tool, so you can see the first option is clear page and it's in red for a reason uh, because it really does clear everything on the page. So make sure you want to, or better still, know where the undo button, it, which is up on the top right. So if I click clear page and we go back, you can see it's cleared not only handwriting, but also type and images too. So why might you want to use a uh, clear page? It's really good if you want to duplicate a layout that you love using you can copy and paste in the page and then remove everything in one go and start again. So if we tap and hold, the next option is erase entire stroke. So if I leave that toggled off and if I come down here to this sign, you can see that as I touch it with the eraser, I just move, remove the bits that I need to remove. Okay, so if I come and tap and hold the eraser again, if I switch erase entire stroke back on, I come off there. This time if I just, with the very very edge of my uh, eraser, if I just tap, you see how it disappears completely. Just all I have to do is just tap anywhere on that continuous line for it to disappear. If every time you touch things they're disappearing, make sure you come in and switch that off and then you can go back in and just delete the detail. You can also use this to your benefit if you've used the shape tool and you've drawn a shape but you didn't turn the fill off. You can remove the fill only with the erase entire stroke switched off. So, so if I come in, make sure the first one is switched off there. If I come back and I'll draw a circle. Now I've obviously forgotten to switch the fill off. So if I go back to my eraser tool now and just tap in the center, it'll remove the fill, but it will leave the stroke behind. Now, if I undo that, if I come back into the eraser tool, if that had been toggled on still, I just touch anywhere on the circle and the whole thing disappears. So for that effect to work, to just remove the fill and not the stroke, you need to make sure that this is toggled off. So the next option, a really useful one, is Erase Highlighter Only. So if I come down, I've got some text, or scribble rather, that I've highlighted down here at the bottom. Now if I want to erase that, but I only want to erase the highlighter, if I use this, you can see I'm erasing everything. It's erasing the handwriting and the highlighter as well. So if I tap and hold my eraser tool, if I switch eraser highlighter only on, if that's now toggled on. So now if I come back and erase, I can just erase the highlighter, but I can leave the text behind. And this also works on shapes. So you can see the little triangle here that I've got and I can remove the highlighter, but I can leave the triangle behind. I tap and hold the eraser again, so we switch that one back off. The next one I find really useful, auto deselect. So if we come back, so what this means is if I now select the pen tool and I start writing and I want to make a change, if I come back to the eraser tool and I'm just going to erase part of that that wasn't correct and as soon as I let go, as soon as I move my finger from the screen or the pen from the screen, do you notice at the top I've jumped straight back to the pen tool and I can then carry on writing. So I don't need to keep switching to eraser, erasing what I don't need and then going back and choosing the pen. It will go back to the last tool I was using, whether that's the pen or the highlighter, the shape tool, anything that you were using prior to using the eraser, you will jump back automatically. Now, if you're doing a lot of handwriting, that's a really, really quick. You'll, you'll notice the difference. You'll only need to go back up to the menu and down half as many times. It really is a time saver as well. So I come back to my eraser, tap and hold. Another shortcut for erasing, which isn't strictly erasing at all, it's actually an undo, which is quite handy when you're, if you don't want to keep going up and down to the toolbar at the top, is the double tap. So let me make some space here. Now, if I'm busy writing or drawing um, and I want to make a change, if I double tap on the screen, it automatically undoes that and then I can carry on. So I can double tap. 
And so actually it's not an arrays function, but if you use it as your drawing or as your writing, it, it sort of acts as an eraser for your last action. Um, so if you want to remove multiple strokes, you just can keep undoing until you stop. But obviously if you've got a lot you want to delete, then it's best to go over to the eraser tool, grab your eraser and then delete what you need to. But it's a really good, the double tap is a really good shortcut. So again, it's a case of being able to write, change errors and then carry on without having to go back up to the top. So there you go, you have a quick tour of the eraser tool, so really useful once you get used to toggling things on and off, and also that double tap shortcut for undoing, which is sort of erasing your last action if you like. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks!